Meet Leonidas, a high-power microwave system developed by California-based defense tech firm Epirus. This is not science fiction, it's already being tested, and it's gotten the Army's attention. In fact, earlier this year, the Army's Rapid Capabilities and Critical Technologies Office signed a $43 million contract to take Leonidas from prototype to battlefield. At a glance, the Leonidas is an antenna array mounted on a truck or trailer. But switch it on, and it generates an electromagnetic field powerful enough to disable the electronic guts of a drone. Whether it's being flown by a remote pilot, running autonomously, or being guided through hard-to-jam fiber optics, it doesn't fire like a laser or a gun. Instead, Leonidas emits a prolonged burst of microwave energy lasting milliseconds. That may not sound like much, but it's enough to scramble circuit boards, blind sensors, and knock drones out of the sky en masse. And because the beam can be electronic, electronically steered and broadened, it doesn't have to aim at one target at a time. It can blanket an area, creating what some engineers have gleefully dubbed an electromagnetic doom dome. Epirus envisions Leonidas being a key part of Trump's Golden Dome project, where it will take on the low-altitude air defense role. In drone warfare, numbers matter, and current defenses are failing because they were built to hit single targets. A single interceptor missile can cost millions. A drone swarm might cost a few thousand. It's a game of economic attrition, and defenders are losing. Leonidas flips that equation. Instead of trying to shoot down every drone individually, it lets you zap the whole swarm with one electromagnetic burst. Suddenly, the $500 drone is no longer a nightmare, and the $4 million missile doesn't have to be wasted. The Army envisions it not as a silver bullet, but as a crucial layer in a broader defense strategy, stationed alongside Patriots, Stingers, and gun-based systems. The electromagnetic signature it emits is strong enough to be picked up from hundreds, possibly thousands, thousands of miles away, which makes it an obvious target for enemy artillery and missiles. This is why Leonidas is designed to move. Mounted on striker vehicles or trailers, Leonidas can be repositioned quickly. Hit-and-run tactics become viable. Smaller versions are being tested for Marines and infantry units, making Leonidas flexible enough to work at forward bases, mobile checkpoints, or even in urban warfare scenarios where drone attacks have become a frightening new normal. Leonidas prototypes have already already seen experimental use in the Middle East and Indo-Pacific. More rigorous testing is underway at the U.S. Navy's China Lake facility, and full-scale deployment could follow soon after. If all goes well, Leonidas could become a fixture at U.S. bases, embassies, and high-value installations where drones can be a potential threat.